Today marks a solemn anniversary for our country. 20 years ago today, Space Shuttle Columbia was making its return to Earth on the heels of a mission dubbed STS-107. After 16 days in orbit, the shuttle was bound for Kennedy Space Center in Florida, where members of the astronauts' families and countless spectators gathered to watch its landing, which is always an exciting and inspiring sight. The shuttle was traveling across the southern part of the United States, and as, as it crossed Texas on a beautiful Saturday morning, something terrible happened. Folks along the flight path stood in their yards, excited to watch a glimpse of Columbia returning from its 28th mission. They watched the orbiter streak across the sky at some 12,000 miles an hour when suddenly they heard a loud noise and saw the shuttle begin to come apart. We soon realized that the worst had happened. The shuttle broke in several pieces as it re-entered Earth's atmosphere and all seven astronauts aboard lost their life. The crew of Columbia included two Texans, Rick Husband and Willie McCool along with Michael Anderson, Kalpana Chawla, David Brown, Laurel Clark, and Ian Ramon. They were scheduled to land at Kennedy Space Center just 15 minutes after passing over Texas. The disaster left a field of wreckage that stretched from Fort Worth across East Texas and into Louisiana. Now, Texas is a big place, but that means virtually the whole breadth of our state was covered with wreckage. The government, of course, immediately launched a massive search to recover pieces of the space shuttle in order to determine what went wrong. NASA officials, National Guard troops, and law enforcement at all levels began scouring the landscape to recover pieces of the shuttle. Divers from the Environmental Protection Agency led efforts to recover pieces that fell into the Toledo Creek, Toledo Bend Reservoir near Hempville. Some 25,000 volunteers from Texas and Louisiana helped search an area that covered 2.3 million miles. They ranged from college students at nearby Stephen F. Austin to teams of ham radio operators who helped law enforcement with communications. As Texans and Americans do, people from all walks of life came together at a time of tragedy and rallied behind a unified effort to help bring answers to a nation in mourning. This tragedy happened just a couple of months into my first Senate term, and I witnessed this massive response effort in action. In the aftermath, I visited an area in Nacogdoches, which is over in East Texas, where tents were set up by search teams. And it was remarkable to see the dedication of men and women firsthand engaged in this effort. Search crews battled rain and cold temperatures as they combed through pine forests and underbrush, searching for wreckage. Recovery teams and volunteers found everything from a 600-pound piece of a main engine, a 600-pound piece of a main engine, to the sole of a spacesuit boot. These discoveries, of course, were crucial to the investigation, which helped NASA understand what went wrong and how we could prevent similar accidents from occurring in the future. In the months and years since, the agency underwent an extensive transformation of its culture and operations to improve the safety of future missions. John Clark, a former NASA flight surgeon whose wife Laurel was killed on Columbia said, their sacrifice has evolved into a safer space program. 
Those changes are no consolation for the families who lost loved ones 20 years ago today, but I hope they can find some comfort in the knowledge that these American heroes made a lasting impact on America's space program. I appreciate the Texans who came together in the wake of this tragedy to preserve pieces of Columbia and provide NASA and these families with answers that they so earnestly sought. Their efforts then and now have helped make the nation's space program safer and more successful. So as we mark the 20th anniversary of the loss of Columbia, I'm proud to co-sponsor a Senate resolution to commemorate the loss of Columbia and honor its crew. I appreciate the bipartisan support of senators on both sides of the aisle who have joined in this effort, and I hope the resolution will pass unanimously today. Today we pay tribute to seven courageous individuals who lost their lives aboard the space shuttle Columbia. We, re we remember and we honor and we celebrate their commitment to research, exploration, and the pursuit of the extraordinary. And we honor their legacy by continuing to push the boundaries of scientific discovery and human spaceflight. 